just going to the memorial and the service. Just how, how was that for you? Yeah, I, I mean, obviously emotional, and uh, but, but really was was nice to be there and, and to be there and be able to talk to the family and go to the wake uh, the day before. And you know, even though it's hard, really. You know, it really helped somehow, you know, to be there with everybody and to see the turnout and the support and the love for the Gaudreau family, it's uh, pretty special. Follow up on that, I mean, obviously so many people in the organization and, and, and the Calgary Flames are hurting right now and will continue to be grieving, but um, I mean, is it, can it help having the guys come back together and the team come back together right now and just be together? For sure, I mean, you know what, I mean, it's, it just shows you, I think it can galvanize a team really because it brings you together and it showed a support and even you know at the vigil the other night I was thinking about the young guys that were there and you know to see the city rally around you know uh, the Gaudreaux's and, and I know Johnny hasn't been here for a few years but to see the support and the love and and what this team and what the individual players mean to the city you know I think that's uh, a very powerful thing too. What sort of supports are, are going to be offered for players now that they're back and, and, and staff yeah. members actually well, I don't you know, say. Yeah. yeah like we, we you know we reached out right away obviously and, and we gave options um, if you wanted to talk or needed you were having a hard time so you know we're just going to continue with that and anything they need I mean they can call me or we gave them people to talk to also so you know it's uh, you know you're just doing everything you can to to help them through it and you know it's never easy. Uh, report this morning that you guys signed to Nordy on a PTO. Um, uh, no I actually signed them on a, a two-way contract okay. so you know I mean I think one of the things we're looking for quality players, and uh, and we have a lot of young guys. And he brings a, a you know, he's been in a, a, either a captain or assistant captain so many places, and I've heard nothing but great things. So to, to bring in a, a player that can, uh, you know, push and, and, and kind of bring a what we're trying to build here, that culture, that attitude, uh, we, we think it was a it was something we were able to do, and and he picked us. So you know he had other choices. So you know that was a uh, it was a good feeling. Big physical guy too brings that. To yeah, the he line. brings he brings different element than maybe some of the things we have. So you know, and I think he sees opportunity. He wants to come and compete like all the other guys. So you know, and when we said, it, you know, this is what it's all about. It's about competing, wanting to be here, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to to seeing him uh, at camp. And he's a big man. I know the organization hasn't made it official, but we did see reports about Tyson Berry as well. Is that happening? Yep, we're bringing in Tyson on, on a PTO, and you know, similar similar situation. You know, high character, quality person. You know, over 500 points in the in the NHL, and you know, I've I've kind of been in his shoes where maybe it hasn't gone well for a team, uh, it, and it's hard to pinpoint why. But I mean, he's very focused. He's ready to go. He wants to come here and, and, and take a job. I mean, that's his goal, too. So, you know, the one thing, again, another high-quality individual that, uh, you know, that's the thing when you're doing your homework, you're trying to find out what's the person like as much as the player. And uh, I've heard nothing but great things about bo both guys. Um, you, look given, at given, you know, it's a younger roster. You're not spending to the cap this year. You've got lots of space. Like, where, where what's the lens through which we should judge this season or like the expectations you know the one thing i wanted to point out was we have great veterans here and we do have some young guys and we need we're going to be a team you know we're going to need everyone to to take their game up another level and compete every night i mean we want to compete we want to battle and play and you know i wouldn't expect anything else i mean i've never played in one nhl game where you know i i was going into that game to win and at least I, I believe this team with the veteran leadership we have, with the young guys we have coming, and, and you know, there's some question marks, but I think when you talk to the goalies, they all see this as a great opportunity. They want to take this job. You know, all three of them want to believe, hey, I'm going to show you guys in camp and I'm going to show you in the regular season. So, you know, I think when you have that kind of attitude, uh, talking to the veteran guys, you know, they want to get off to a good start. Obviously, there was a lot of, the last couple years, you know, there was a lot of negativity coming in here. Everybody I talked to is so positive right now, from Bax to Coleman, Kadri. You know, everybody just has a real feeling, hey, you know what? It's kind of us against them. And I like when we're the underdogs and people maybe take us lightly and, and we're going to get off the good start and it's going to be a competitive camp. And I mean, with, I know, you know. With that, Craig, what deems this season a success for you? Is it something statistically? Is it some building blocks that'll be put in place for your group? Well, you always want to see your team, you know, I think the one thing if we're all looking is the maybe the question and goal, you know. 
I don't know how that's going to play out. You don't, I mean, every guy wants it, and that's what I like. You know, they're hungry, they're ready to go. They're not thinking about anything other than this is a great opportunity for me. So, you know, on that end, and then you want to see your young guys take another step. I mean, that's the one thing. And you want your veterans to take a step. And you want to be competitive every night. You know, you want to put a product out there that people are excited to come and watch, and they're young, and, and they show, hey, we have an opportunity to do something special here. And, and you know what? We believe in ourselves, and that's the thing. And we need to stick up for each other and be in there for one another. You mentioned the underdog mentality. I feel like that's a very Calgary thing. We like being the underdogs a little bit. Do you... Do you preach that to the guys almost? Well, I mean, I think, you know, I think in the year with, with the year Bob Harley, I was thinking back the other day, yeah, same thing. You know, going in, people, uh, maybe the outside world doesn't believe in us, but we believe in ourselves when we need to have that, you know, and we need to go into every game with a mindset, we're going to compete and win. We're not going to always win every game, but we want to we wanna make sure when the other team leaves, say, wow, that's a, that's a team, that's a hard team to play against. Does that look today kind of represents a little bit just everybody's back, obviously, but that optimism and, and to see, you know, kind of a, you know, a sense of looking forward now and, and to what it could be. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, that's a, you know, you need your veteran guys to lead the young guys. And you know what? Like I said, our, our veteran group is as good as any group as far as that, bringing people together, you know, the mentality of win every night, competitiveness. We have Stanley Cup champions on this on this roster. and. You know, even teams that maybe are young and, and retooling, you need to have those great veteran leaders, and, and we feel like we have those guys here. And now we need them to, you know, they need to lead us into the season here. How, uh, how do you sell them maybe when those veterans, they do want a more kind of straightforward path to a Stanley Cup, and like maybe this group isn't quite there yet. How do you sell those veterans on on remaining you know, in Calgary? And, uh, well, they're the one, I mean, they're, they're, the, they're the difference in the games. I mean, we expect them to come in with that mindset of, hey, I'm going to be here, we're going to win, and it's because of me and what I do and the leadership I bring. So, you know, we feel like, I don't really feel like when I've talked to the guys over the summer, they believe in themselves, they think it's a fresh start. You know, I think the last few years there was a lot of that negativity where maybe the, the noise outside was they, some of the other veteran guys didn't want to be here. That's not the case with this group. Greg, a year ago here, we were all asking about Jonathan Huberto and, and, and what had to happen for him to get his game back. What are your expectations for him entering this year after some two seasons where the numbers weren't quite where you might want them? Yeah, you know what? The one thing about Jonathan, he changed up his training in the summer. Um, super competitive guy. Wants to wants to be the best player every night. Wants to win. And I think that's the one thing. You know, and I think, hey, just come in and play. He's put a lot of pressure on himself. He wants to wants to take this team and put them on his back, but it's a team effort. So, you know, he doesn't need to put all the pressure on himself, you know, with Kadri, with Uyghur, with, you know, Rasmus Anderson, Backlund, Coleman. We have a good group of core veteran guys, and we just need to do it together. It's not one person that's going to win or lose games. It's going to be a whole team here. Well, are you close with Pelletier at all with the new contract? You know, we're still negotiating. It, uh, it's never as quick as, as you'd like, but I get that. You know, he's he's got some ideas where he's at, but I, I'm – Pretty sure we're going to get it done. We're we're getting closer. You think there's any other PTOs coming in? Uh, as of right now, we we don't have anyone else coming right in. Just on Pelche, would you expect him in camp if a deal isn't signed, or would that be? I, I expect him. You know, I've been talking to the agent. I think Pelts will Pelts will be here, and uh, and then we're going to get something done. It's just, you know, it just takes a little time, and uh, I think, unfortunately, with everything that went on this week. Other things took priority, and uh, and then we'll, you know, we're back now. We're ready. The golf tournament's a great way to kick it off, and then, uh, you know, we still have some some business to tidy up for sure.